story being told inside my head I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man I gotta tear this world Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. I could not be more excited to be sharing our nursery makeover for our second baby boy. This is truly a floor to ceiling transformation and I am so proud of the way that this nursery turned out. So much time and hard work went into creating the perfect room for our new baby to come home to and I hope you enjoy watching the whole process from start to finish. If you are new to my channel, I post cleaning and small space organizing videos, but we moved into this house in July of this year and we are planning on renovating the entire thing. The first room that we were able to completely finish was the nursery and we've been working on it since August in whatever extra time we had. So you will see my belly is going to grow quite a bit throughout the video. But like I said, we are just so proud of this room and cannot wait to bring our new baby home early 2022. And if you stay tuned to the end, as an extra bonus, I will be sharing the baby's name. The first thing that we did was completely clear out the room. The nursery had become a dumping ground for everything when we first moved, so we had to clear it out in order to start painting. Since this room is so small, we also removed the closet doors to add a little bit of extra space that we could take advantage of. I had a pretty clear vision of what I wanted to do with the closet, but you will see what we ended up going with later on in the video. We removed the curtain rods, any other nails or imperfections on the wall, as well as everything in the closet and patched it all back up. We spent quite a bit of time prepping the walls, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to show you all of that just to keep it from getting boring. I'm not a professional by any means, but I do think that the more time you spend prepping, the better the finished product is going to look. We used a couple different paints for this room. For the trim, we used Sherman Williams Extra White. For the walls, we used another Sherman Williams White. I can't remember off the top of my head which white it was. And for the closet, we used a Benjamin Moore Green color, which I will put in the description box below because I also can't remember off the top of my head. I don't know if the past owners painted the house a pale yellow or if it's just really old white paint that is turned yellow but I really wanted to brighten the room up and cancel out those yellow tones with all the white. It is crazy to me how much a gallon of white paint can brighten and open up a room. With this being such a small nursery, I felt that the lighter and brighter I kept things, the better with the exception of the back wall in the closet. I knew that I wanted at least one accent wall, but we ended up going with two. I wanted there to be color in here for sure, and I am just loving the shade of green right now. We ended up tying this green color into the room several times when decorating, and I'm so glad we ended up doing this bold wall color. This Benjamin Moore paint was also just wonderful, and I only ended up having to do two coats to completely cover the wall without any patchiness. For the sake of the video though, you will only see me painting it once.
but you're coming back you know that you know that you're the traveling kind it's a known fact yeah i know that I found the closet system that we went with from a website called Modular Closets. I will say this is not the cheapest closet system, but the quality and the end result is just beautiful. I went on their website and I put in the dimensions of my closet and I was able to design my own system. This took us quite some time to put together because we were fighting daylight for filming and time restraints. But it was honestly not difficult at all and if you're not trying to film yourself doing it in natural lighting, it's definitely something that could be done in just a few hours. The instructions were clear and easy to follow. I really have no complaints and I'm thrilled with the way that it turned out. The only thing that I will say that I wished was different was where the studs were located in our wall. We had to mount this a bit off center and I originally wanted it closer to the left of the closet so that I had more space to work with on the right. But all things considered, it's a beautiful piece of furniture. It's sturdy and well-made, and I cannot wait to start organizing inside of it. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Build a secret place for you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream. in the night Time is running out of sight The lonely wind is passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk There's no one left Carson loved being involved in his baby brother's bedroom and any chance that he got to help out, he made sure to do that. I love that someday our baby can look back at this video and see how much hard work we all put into perfecting his nursery. I went with brass hardware for the closet. I was torn between brass and black, but I'm happy with my decision. And if sometime down the line, I decide that I want to change it up, I could definitely do that easily. But I went with the brass because his crib and dresser that I picked were a natural wood with leather hardware. And I just felt the brass look would coordinate well with the light color scheme of his furniture. I can understand you're tired of this town And I'm not saying that we have to settle down now Just At this point, the furniture had started to arrive and it was time to work on the other accent wall. I ordered this wallpaper from Wall Blush. It ended up turning out beautifully, but if I'm being honest, it was a huge headache. The wallpaper application process itself really wasn't so bad. But after applying it, I ran into issues with it bubbling up, and I'm not sure if that was a defect with the wallpaper itself. I ended up being able to fix it, but for a minute there, I really thought I was going to have to take it down and start over. 
I even ordered a stencil on Etsy that I was planning to use to paint the wall, but since I was thankfully able to fix it, I didn't end up needing to do that. This was the biggest hiccup in the whole room. I can't say I recommend wall blush at this point, but I am happy that I was able to fix it and the end result was beautiful. What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight? If you still love me, I can wait, I can wait. And remember this. We could have been stardust, same world but without us. Something made us, made us find each other out there. Made us realize we're more than just stardust. Ignore this fact if you must To do what your dreams are telling you to do And I'll be out there looking for someone like you You can see here how bad the air bubbles were. To fix them, I ran my hair dryer up and down the wall and smoothed out each one individually. And now here is your last glance at our old flooring. We ended up covering up the old hardwood with LVP floors in a white oak shade and they turned out just stunning and completely transformed the room. Eventually, we plan to put these floors all over the house, but for now, the baby's nursery got them early. We had them professionally done, so I don't have any clips of it, and my dad came and installed us some new baseboards as well. The next thing to arrive was this area rug. I ordered this on Amazon, but I believe it is by Well Woven Rugs. It was really affordable, and I was impressed with how soft it was when it came in. It also flattened out really nicely on its own fairly quickly. I wasn't sure at first how I felt about the pattern, but as the room came together, it grew on me and I'm happy with it. But the good thing about area rugs is that they can be an easy and pretty affordable way to change up a room down the line if you decide. Before you get the chance to meet someone, before you get to meet someone like you. How many songs can you write about heartbreak? How to go? When you're fed up with mistakes, maybe I just found the answer. Finally, we are starting to get to the fun part, which is decorating. After dealing with time restraints and shipping delays, the furniture was in and accent pieces had finally arrived. The first thing we're hanging up is this mirror. In a small room, mirrors really help open up a space, and especially where this one is directly across from the windows in this room, it also delivers a ton of natural light. That mirror is from Target. We had a little bit of trouble getting the faux leather strap to straighten out, but after a few days, it settled, and I'll be sure to have everything I can linked down below. But now we are hanging some shelves. These I ordered from West Elm. I had actually originally picked some really affordable IKEA shelves, but they were not available to ship or in my nearest store. So I chose these shelves because I had enough rewards from purchasing furniture from Pottery Barn Kids that they were free for me, but they are certainly not a cheap option and I know this same look could be achieved for a lower price elsewhere. Give a little bit of your heart to me. Since we were done needing tools in the room, I wanted to get all of that put away so that this room could look more finished. So we're taking just a few minutes to clean up the room and get it ready to finish decorating. If you just give a little bit of your heart, give a little bit of your heart to me. One thing that you will notice is not added quite yet is shades. I opted for no curtains and I will do cellular cordless blackout shades like we have in Carson's room in our bedroom. Another thing we plan to add later are a few little bookshelves inside of his closet. Ooh, 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 
I got these picture frames from Target and I think they're very pretty. They're a black brushed metal look up close and they helped really tie in some of the black accents around the room. I decided to hang them next to the mirror just to add a little bit more interest to that side of the room. To hang them, I just used a hammer and nail, but to make sure they were extra secure, I also put a couple of Velcro command strips on the back to hold them in place. I got these adorable prints from Etsy and I had them printed at my local CVS. I love that they are minimal and they're so perfect for a nursery. This little fabric bin I grabbed from Target to hold some diapers and it's adorable. I love that it ties in the leather accents on the furniture and the mirror. I filled it up with size 1 diapers, some aquaphor, and diaper rash cream. I also put out a new pack of wipes and a binky which makes me feel so giddy and excited for baby to be here just looking at all of it and setting it out for him. I ordered this rainbow puzzle from a small shop and I will try to find it to link it for you. This baby is our rainbow baby after a miscarriage in February of this year and I ordered the rainbow right after we found out we were pregnant again to save for our baby's nursery. I also got us a new hatch sound machine. This is a must have baby product for us. Our four year old still uses his every night and I knew we definitely needed one for baby number two. The faux plant came from Target, the rattle slash teether I believe came from Amazon, and the other toys that I displayed on this shelf both came from Pottery Barn Kids. This lamp came from Target. I originally thought we would put a flush mount light on the ceiling, but I ended up deciding on a lamp for now to save us some money. I have been waiting all day for this to show up and it finally did. And unfortunately the sun is already down so I can't exactly finish this room tonight. I am going to wash this, but for the sake of the video, I do want to put it on the mattress because I'm very excited to see how it looks. The rocking chair that we ordered came from Bye Bye Baby and it was a great price. I had a 20% off coupon and I think I spent a total of $350 on it. It's the perfect size for this small room. It reclines and glides and is also super comfortable. Now as a reminder of what this room looked like before, a dumping ground for anything and everything in need of some serious love and attention. And I can't believe looking back at this footage that it's the same room. Here is the final reveal and as promised his name, we are naming our sweet baby boy Sutton Wyatt. 
His first name was picked by his wonderful older brother and his middle name picked by his dad. We couldn't be more excited to welcome him into our family and I hope someday he watches this video back and feels the love we all had for him before he ever even arrived into this world. I will have everything that I possibly can linked in the description box below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment down below telling me what your favorite part is. I promised a full transformation and I think we came through and I'm so proud. Make sure that you are following me over on Instagram as we inch closer to baby boy's due date in January because that is where you will see him first. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll come back again next week for another video.